taking this alkene and um, reacting it with uh, bromine and hydrogen sulfide. Um, notice it says excess hydrogen sulfide and DCM. Now, um, DCM, that's just the solvent, so it's not going to do um, participate in anything in the reaction. So if you want to, you can just kind of get rid of it. In fact, DCM, you'll see it written like DCM or uh, CH2, Cl2. Of course, that's the formula for DCM. But anyway, so the first step of this reaction is going to take um, bromine And um, remember, uh, when you have just bromine and an alkene, you're going to make uh, the bromonium ion. So um, this does a similar thing. We actually make that bromonium ion. So when we do that, it breaks off that. And remember, the bromonium ion is this three-membered ring. And if you can't remember, does it have a charge? Does it not have a charge? Um, remember, both sides of the equation have to have the same amount of charge. So since you started, with zero charge over here, bromine has zero, the alkene has zero, and you're making a negative charge. It's an easy way to remember the bromonium ion has to have that positive charge. Um, anyways, um, now you're going to use uh, the hydrogen sulfide. It's going to act as a nucleophile. Actually, let's just write it out. Similar to what water would and uh, the reaction of making the halo hydrogen. So this is. Um, essentially an analogy of that halo-hydrogen reaction. Um, so the bromonium ion is uh, very electrophilic at these two carbons, but um, so you can have this SN2 reaction, so it's going to be a good nucleophile, this is a good electrophile of course, but you have a choice of which carbon to react. Um, of course this carbon here is very sterically hindered, um, this carbon here is less sterically hindered, so it's only going to react on this side. And of course, you're going to make the enantiomer of that um, bromonium ion too. So We're going to get this reaction here. charge pointing backwards and then it says it's got excess um, hydrogen sulfide that's of course the deprotonate um, So you're going to get that, plus it's an antimer. Um, why the enantiomer? Because this here and this here are sp2 carbons. So the bromine can attack from this front or top face or the back face like that. So you'll get a, a equal amount of the enantiomers here. And of course, then that's going to give you that. So, so what do you have? Uh, 
you got the making of the bromonium ion, the SN2 reaction here. And then the acid base or deprotonation. There, to give you the final product. Cool. Any questions?